hello children so today in this module we are going to read the chapter bully about the author the author khwaja ahmed abbas best known as k abbas was a prominent director and a screen writer in the indian film industry he is known for his best works in urdu hindi and english he has been a part of some of the most iconic films in the history of indian cinema He also worked as a journalist for the Bombay Chronicle and then the Blitz. He was born on 7 June 1914 in Panipat, India. He graduated from Aligarh Muslim University and studied both English literature and law. The writer K A Abbas was known for dealing with nationalistic themes and socially conscious issues in his movies. Some of his final works as screenwriter included The Naxalites, Akanksha, Ek Aadmi, and Mr. X. He died at the age of 72 on 1st June 1987. Summary of the chapter: The story is about a little village girl named Suleika, but since her childhood, everyone called her Boli. When she was 10 months old, she had fallen off the cot on her head and perhaps it has damaged some part of her brain. The reason why she stammered. That is why she remained backward and came to be known as Bholi. Bholi was fair and pretty at the time of her birth, but when she was 2 years old, she had an attack of smallpox. Only her eyes were saved, but the entire body was permanently disfigured by deep black pock marks she couldn't speak till she was 5 and when she learned she stammered the other children made fun of her and often mimicked her as a result she talked very little her father nambadar ramlal had three sons and four daughters bholi was the fourth daughter it was a prosperous farmer's household and there was plenty to eat and drink all the children except boli were healthy and strong the sons had been sent to the city to study in schools and later in colleges one of the daughters of nambadar ramlal mangla's marriage had also been settled and when that was done ramlal would think of the third champa they were good looking and it was not difficult to find bridegrooms for them but ramlal was worried about bholi she neither had good looks nor intelligence bholi was 7 when mangla was married and when the primary school opened in their village the tehsildar came to perform the opening ceremony of the school he told ramlal that as a revenue official and as a representative of the government in the village he should send his daughter to the school and set an example before the villagers when ramlal consulted his wife about the issue his wife did not agree with him yet she decided to send bholi to the school the next day bholi was given a bath and a new dress to wear her mother netted her hair and then she was sent to the school but bholi was frightened When the father left her in the school she sat at the corner in the class when the teacher asked her name she stammered and the children started laughing at this bholi started weeping but the teacher's voice was soft and soothing it encouraged her a lot and finally she could tell her full name then the teacher told her that if she would come daily to school she would speak without a stammer and one day she would become the most educated girl in the village then no one will dare to laugh at her and then they will listen to her carefully years passed and the village now turned into a small town one night ramlal consulted his wife about the proposal made by bishambar a grocer in the neighboring village his wife readily agreed to it the day of her marriage came when the bridegroom was about to garland her some lady pulled her veil down showing her face to him 
The bridegroom had a quick glance at her face and noticed pock marks on her face. At this, he asked Ramlal to give him five thousand rupees as dowry in order to marry this ugly girl. After some argument, Ramlal handed over the money to Bishamba, but Boli asked his father to take the money back. as she did not want to marry the old greedy person everybody was surprised because first time bori did not stammer and said i can marry a man of the age same to my father but can't marry with a greedy man just for the sake of your honor people whispered bori answered very smartly ramlal was tensed bori asked him to not to worry about her and said I will teach in the school and serve both of you in your old age. So she started teaching in the same school where she had learned so much. Theme of the chapter. The major theme of the story Bholi is the impact of family on children. Bholi is a little girl who fails to develop self-confidence because of her parents attitude towards her the story hints at why school why family support and emotional security are essential for proper child development also disabled children must be given encouragement love and education like their normal counterparts our children here i have given you some questions and sample answers to make you understand how to frame answers for the chapter question number 1 bholi had many apprehensions about going to school what made her feel that she was going to a better place than her home in the beginning bholi was scared of the idea of going to school she was reminded of their cow lakshmi who had been turned out of the house and sold off it was when for the first time in her life that she was bathed her hair washed and oiled and was dressed in clean clothes that she felt that she was going to some better place than her home she had never received such attention and care before how did bholi's teacher play an important role in changing the course of her life bholi was always mocked by everyone people used to call her dumb and laughed at her when she would fumble while speaking this made her sad and a low self conf- low confident child who would remain quiet and sit with her head bent down into her knees it was on the first day of her school that her teacher discovered her problem of being low confident due to her inability to speak clearly she encouraged boli and treated her in a polite manner boli was never treated like this by anyone her teacher told her that with practice she could become a learned person who could speak properly without stammering this filled her with hope and led to a change in the course of her life Why did Bholi at first agree to an unequal match? Why did she later reject the marriage? What does this tell us about her? Bholi agreed to marry an unequal match because she had heard her parents discussing the marriage proposal. They said that she was lucky to get a bridegroom who was rich and was ready to marry her without taking dowry. He was unaware of Bholi's pock marks and dumbness. She had heard her mother say that if they did not accept the proposal, Bholi might remain unmarried all her life. Later, Bholi refused on the marriage because the bridegroom demanded five thousand rupees as dowry from her father. Moreover, it was unbearable for her to see her father pleading in front of him for the sake of his daughter and family's honor. Her self-respect made her refuse from marrying a greedy coward. Bholi's real name is Suleika. We are told this right at the beginning, but only in the last. but one paragraph of the story is bholi called sulekha again why do you think she is called sulekha at that point in the story the word bholi means simpleton on the other hand the word sulekha means a person with good handwriting so the story bholi was sketched as a person who was a simpleton and never raised her voice for her betterment at the end of the story she raised her voice for her self respect and for her father's dignity and if used to marry a greedy old man the word sulekha is used in the end to show her confidence 
knowledge and ability to speak up against the injustice. Now here there are some questions for practice. Once you go through it, you will get an idea how much you understand this chapter. I hope this chapter must be clear to you. Thank you so much. Take care.